Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you for joining me with another episode for My Love Lucy. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the five most complex sets in I Love Lucy. Now, I have a photo up here actually showing you the entire layout from a top-down view. From left to right, you can definitely see all of the pieces of what we know as the I Love Lucy set from the nursery to the bedroom to the living room, the kitchen, and even on the far right, the club. That is so cool to take a look at. Now, what's not actually included in this video are the actual apartment sets. So we're not gonna take a look at that or the club or the nursery. We're gonna just be looking at sets that were unique for a specific scene or episode of I Love Lucy. These are gonna be complex sets that, remember, this is the 1950s. This is one of the first, if not classified as the first sitcom on television. Now we're gonna count down and look at the five most complex sets. Let me know in the comments what you think about these sets, and if you have any others that we might have missed, let us know in the comments as well. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it, and let's get right to it. Set number five comes from the episode The Fox Hunt. Lucy wants to spend her weekend at a British estate, so she tricks Sir Clive Richardson to go to his estate and they go fox hunting. Here's where we see the set, which is large enough to encompass some stables, a horse riding around pretty quickly, and if you think about it, this is pretty advanced and complex. There's a lot of space and a lot of room that you do need for a horse to move around. So let's take a bit of a look at this set at work. I don't know. <laughs> Complex set number four comes from the episode Lucy Learns to Drive. There's also some snippets in here from Getting Ready. This is where the Ricardos and Mertzes drive to California. In this episode, Ricky makes a mistake of teaching Lucy to drive his brand new car. It's only after showing Ethel how to drive that she crashes into Fred's car and has to get them unhooked and fixed in time. Now, just thinking about how complex this set is, remember, there has to be room for two vehicles to drive in and out, and a lot of wire and string that were used to pop off a lot of the parts after the collision. Now we go to number three. This set comes from the episode The Great Train Robbery, one of my personal favorite episodes. In this episode, Lucy gets mixed up with a jewel thief on a cross-country rail trip that marks the end of the series Hollywood journey. That's not the only reason it's a bumpy ride. Another is that Lucy keeps pulling the emergency brake cord. Of course, they did not film this scene on an actual moving train, but you can see in this photo that that set is actually on top of a platform and it's made movable so that whenever crew members rock it back and forth, the whole set moves, including the curtains and the ladder and all the actors on the set. It was said that previously the set was constructed and only the actors dropped to the ground, but Desi and Lucy did not like the lack of realism, so they made the special set just for these scenes. Our second most complex set comes from the episode First Stop. After a long day of non-stop driving, the Ricardos and the Mertzes pull into a rundown cafe somewhere near Cincinnati, Ohio. The bunk beds they were given in the ugly cabin with spongy and sagging mattresses scoop back and forth across the floor every time a noisy train passes by. Now this set was also constructed on a higher platform so that again, it could be shaken by the crew in the background. Also, there was an elaborate system that was able to pull the bed from one side of the room to the other side on cue. It did take a lot of work and it was very complex, but the effort paid off. And here it is, the number one most complex set of I Love Lucy comes from the episode Bon Voyage. 
After boarding the ocean liner, the SS Constitution, Lucy goes ashore just one more time to kiss little Ricky goodbye, and as a result, she misses the boat. Desi Arnaz claims in several interviews that this was the most expensive episode produced. The reason why, of course, is because of the lowering of the platform and the ramp, as you can see, as well as the ship set moving from right to left with Desi leaving on it. It's a pretty cool visual scene going back to the 50s. And that was it guys and gals, the five most complex sets from I Love Lucy. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed and do love I Love Lucy, the Three Stooges, television, or even gaming, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button so that you can see all of my videos when they come out so that you could get notified. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoyed it. I really do appreciate it. Your love and support really does mean the world to me. A lot of hard work goes into these videos, and when you comment, it just makes my absolute day. We'll see you next time, guys and gals, and don't forget, stay positive, always better yourself, and most importantly, be hopeful.